Hi, welcome to FrenchPod101.com, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn French. My name is Sam, and I'm joined by... Je suis Céline, my name is Céline, and we're about to introduce you to a new, fun way to learn French. The core of this new approach is language learning material presented in a radio talk show format which is entertaining while at the same time educational. Not only you will have fun learning French, but we'll have you speaking French from the very first lesson. With our revolutionary breakdown approach, even if you're completely new to French, you'll be able to speak some French by the end of this first lesson. Each lesson is hosted by one native French teacher, that's me, and one native English-speaking teacher fluent in French, that's Sam. The dialogues are all recorded by professional voice actors, who are, of course, native French speakers. The lesson centers around current practical dialogues you hear in France every day. In addition to the dialogue, we break down the pronunciation of vocabulary words and phrases so you can understand them and say them right away. We also cover cultural insight, experiences about living and traveling in France, and tips on using French you just won't find in a textbook. Now, this audio lesson you're about to listen to is just one part of our powerful system, as the podcasts were designed to be used together with accompanying material on our site. FrenchPie101.com. On our site, you can find bonus audio tracks, lesson notes, quizzes, and other learning tools for each and every lesson. There, you can sign up for a free lifetime account and try out all of the powerful tools to get you speaking right away and ensure you continue on with your studies. So, Sam, what do you think? Let's show them how it works? Yep, very good idea. In this lesson, we're going to go over some phrases that are used in a French bakery. This is a fast and fun lesson that is useful in lots of situations. To see the phrases we're going to cover today, stop by FrenchPile101.com. Get your free account and view the lesson notes while or after you listen. For this lesson, the lesson notes have a transcript of the key phrases and vocabulary. Or, if you're listening on an iPod, click the center button or touch the screen twice. Doing so will enable you to see the key phrases. So, Celine, where are we taking the listeners today? In this lesson, we're going to take them to the beautiful city of lights, Paris. It's 7 a.m. and we are on our way to buy our daily morning croissant. And the English pronunciation is croissant. Great. That sounds like an interesting lesson. And if you want to know more about croissants, take a look at our lesson notes. Yes. There we have a cultural insight section that gives you a detailed explanation of lots of topics we cover in the audio lesson. And in the lesson notes for this lesson, there is a write-up on croissant. All right. Now I'm excited. So back to the lesson. We're in the pastry shop, and the smell is unbelievable. It makes me hungry just thinking about French pastries. So let's hurry up and order a croissant. And a croissant in French is? Un croissant. A croissant. Before we start, in our lessons, when we give a vocabulary word or phrase, we give you an explanation on how to use it. We explain the exact situations the phrases are used in and the proper usage so that you don't embarrass yourself. But you know what else we do? The pronunciation? Yes. The proper pronunciation so you can start speaking just like Celine here, instantly. So Celine, can you repeat that phrase for us? And for all those listening, don't forget to repeat after Celine. All right, here we go. Un croissant. A croissant. One more time, slowly. Un croissant. And now, one more time, native speed. Un croissant. All right, I think we got the pronunciation perfected. And just like that, when we give essential vocabulary words or phrases in our lessons, we always break it down just like that. One time fast for you to hear the natural speed. One time slowly so you can fully grasp the pronunciation. And one more time fast so that you can repeat it at full speed and with the translation. You'll be speaking like a French native speaker with our system in no time. It will also help you memorize the words and master pronunciation, an important part of our system. All right. So now we got the pronunciation perfected. We have our lesson notes, and we know exactly when and where to use these phrases. So, Celine, let's break up that phrase piece by piece to help us understand a little better. Of course, it's my pleasure. Un croissant. A croissant. And what's that first part? Un. The indefinite article A. One time slowly, please. Un. Un. And next we have... Croissant. Croissant. Wow, the pronunciation of that is harder than what I'm used to. Can you break that down for us one more time? Croissant. Croissant. Great. Thank you. Now, if I wanted to order un croissant in a pastry shop, what can I say? Un croissant, s'il vous plaît. A croissant, please. Okay. 
I think I got the first part. But what was the pronunciation for please? S'il vous plaît. And one time slowly? S'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. So, to order a croissant at a pastry shop, a bakery or cafe, I can say... Un croissant, s'il vous plaît. But actually, I'm not such a big fan of croissant. I like baguette. Yes, French baguettes are absolutely delicious. Really crispy on the outside, so soft on the inside. And you put some cheese or ham in there. Mmm, delicious. That's why when I go to a French bakery, I order une baguette. A baguette. One time slowly, please. Une baguette. Une baguette. One thing I notice is that the word for A is different for croissant and for baguette. Yes, for a croissant, it is un croissant. For a baguette, it is une baguette. So what's the difference between the two? Un is masculine and is used with masculine nouns. And une is used for feminine nouns. So, whenever you use the indefinite article in French, it changes according to if the noun is masculine or feminine. Correct. And if the listeners want to take a deeper look, we should remind them to take a look at the lesson notes. Yes. Let's remind our listeners that the lesson notes not only contain a vocabulary list, but it also contains lessons dialogue in... Formal French, informal French, and the English translation. So you can compare the different politeness levels. You know, Sam, looking at the dialogue in the lesson notes while listening at the same time really improves reading fluency while improving listening ability. And remember, every single word that comes out in the lesson also comes out in the lesson's PDF. Please, don't take our word for it. What are you saying, Sam? I'm just saying that they should see for themselves. I'm telling you, you need to stop by FrenchPile101.com, sign up for a free lifetime membership, and pick up the lesson notes. It's really the most effective and most convenient way to study. All right, before we finish the lesson, can I ask you a question? Sure. Do all French eat croissants in the morning? Ah, uh, well, yes, with cheese and wine. That's the perfect cliché, Sam. Well, we do love to eat croissant as well as baguette toasted with butter and jam. Mm, yummy, yummy. Thanks, Celine, for your explanation. And thank you for listening. And remember to stop by our website, frenchpod101.com. And sign up for a free lifetime account. Be sure to pick up the lesson notes for this lesson. Also, you can take a tour of our website. You can also find the next introduction lesson. The introduction lessons explain how to use the site. So, if you're new to French or FrenchPie101.com, we recommend you start listening to all the lessons of the introduction series. That really is the best way. After that, we have a lot more lessons waiting for you. But for now, we'd like to experience our community. You can leave a comment on this lesson by visiting FrenchPie101.com. Let us know what you thought of this lesson, as your feedback is an important part of our system. That's right. At the site, there is an amazing community of French students around the world. You ask the questions, and you get the answers. Okay. Thank you again for listening. Stop by, sign up for your free lifetime account, and get the lesson notes, and leave us a comment. In Introduction Lesson 2, we'll introduce you to several more powerful parts of our learning system. For now. Au revoir, goodbye, and here are the phrases one more time. Please have a listen. Bye. Mm, un croissant. Un croissant, s'il vous plaît. Ah, une baguette. Une baguette, s'il vous plaît.